Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pendant. I'm going to give you guys some COVID update about what happened yesterday with the New York City Health Department and the Homeless Outreach. I was denied services completely because of my status, my dress code, my competency level, and I wanted to share this experience with you guys to let you guys know this is why we don't believe in the system in New York City. This is why we take care of ourselves. But with that said, everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. As a travel documentarian, as a travel consultant, and a professional photographer, stories like this do matter. Only 2% of you have notifications turned on, so please turn those notifications turned on. Please turn those notifications on, please, so you can see more content like this. So last night, I was contacted through the couple that actually called 311 to actually get me services, to get me into a hotel, quarantine hotel, so I can really fight this COVID situation. But instead, I was judged based on my appearance. I was judged based on my belongings. I was judged based on my competency level. They were looking at me up and down as if I dressed too well to be homeless, one. And they kept asking me questions about where I was from, where I lived before, you know, coming to New York. What did I do for as a profession? And I told them the truth. So in that process, they were trying to get in contact with a supervisor. They didn't get in contact with a supervisor, but they kept trying to push me to go into a hospital, which is not an emergency, so I can try to qualify for emergency hotel services so I can get quarantined. But instead, I told them no, because you're gonna be wasting not the EMT's time, but the hospital's time, because this is not an emergency. But, Later on that night, about 9.15, they contacted me, came out their car, and called 911. I told them to stop wasting 911 time because this is not an emergency. I tried to explain to them what the procedure is if I had an emergency, an emergency dealing with COVID-19. But they didn't want to listen because they are not professional. They're very skilled and under, under trained. So with that said everyone, so the EMTs came out and basically told them what I told them and then they told the EMTs they were so confused why they were out here in the first place. Now I'm going to I'm going to post a copy of what the couple sent me through 311 that clearly states that they met me from time to time and I had COVID-19. I, I refused to accept things from them because of the situation. So they were lying to EMTs while they were really out there, but you knew I had COVID because I explained to you guys that I had COVID. You refused to get out of your car to talk with me. You were talking me through the window. So therefore, you were lying to EMTs. So with that said, everyone, this is New York City's health department and homeless outreach denying me services. With that said, so, EMTs told me they want you to go into a homeless shelter. That's a bad idea because you would instantly get robbed and you would get beat up. So, and I explained to them, I'm not going to a homeless shelter. That's the end of it. And I'm not risking my, my belongings because they want false statistics. So with that said, everyone, they wanted me to put myself in danger and then wait a few days to order to see if I qualify for a quarantine hotel. And I wasn't gonna do it. So last night, I was disappointed by how they handled this situation. So in reality, I was denied services because how I was dressed, what I had with me, which is my camera gear and the bag of full of clothes. They were judging me based on my appearance, my competency level. I was supposed to fit the description as a homeless person. So they were telling EMTs that I am not chronically homeless and I'm not originally from New York. So therefore, I don't qualify. And the EMTs thought that was not fair because this is a person that is reporting data about COVID-19. And they refused to help me in that situation. So the EMT told me, listen, the best way you can do this is try to find someone that can help you because you do not want to go to a homeless shelter. You do not want to deal with these people. It seems like they don't want to help you because of your appearance. They kept telling us that you look so well professionally dressed and you look like you have money. And I was shocked by that. So 
and from the footage that you already have seen with them talking to EMTs, you can clearly see that I was denied the service. I'm still out here. It's about 8.50 a.m. in the morning out here. And I am so disappointed how New York City Homeless Outreach and New York City Health Department handled the situation. I have COVID. I woke up this morning with a headache, migraine headache, sore throat, literally was bothering me for about an hour or so. Really did not want to get up. My muscles feel really achy. My appetite is not there quite yet. And they said that I, don't, I do not qualify for services. So with that said, everyone, it goes to show you the mentality in New York City. It goes to show you the stereotypes in New York City. It goes to show you the unprofessional in New York City. It goes to show you that people do not want to do their part to actually stop the spread of COVID in New York City. With that said, everyone, if you guys want to help me out, there's a PayPal cash app memo right down in the description below. It will make a big difference. But before you even do that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. As a travel documentarian, as a travel photographer and a travel consultant, I am disgusted by how New York City handled this situation last night. I am a victim of this virus and I should be in a quarantine safe zone in this city. No matter if I'm not from the city, no matter if I don't fit the description as a homeless person, I'm supposed to be cared for. With that said, everyone, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, because I will be posting this on those social medias. And for those that want to actually help out, make sure that you leave a comment down in the description below and tell me what you guys think about the situation, what I, what I should have done better. But with that said, everyone, I am not pleased about the outcome. You guys have a good one. Take care.